Kevin, what, uh, in your mind, what's kind of been the, the ticket to you guys getting more possessions? Like usually in the beginning of the season, you guys would give away 10 shots, 11 shots, 12 shots. But the last few games, you've turned that to your advantage and allowed your natural efficiency to take over. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're pretty even on the boards um, throughout the game. But I think we turned them over. In 19 turnovers, that could get us out on the break. I think our defensive pressure was good. It was allowing us to get some turnovers, get some deflections. It was able to get out and transition, get some easy shots up. You know, um, Shooting 10 more shots than this team, that's always a good formula for you to have a successful offense. Um, and we was able to convert some too. And Jacques talked a lot about uh, I don't know, kind of building trust within the team and just asking guys to play hard. When we see you, you know, with this huge grin after you block a shot and Kai going in the stands up 11 mm -hmm. in the fourth. I mean, are these kind of indicative of that kind of workmanlike ethos that he's trying to preach? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, first of all, we want to be a connected group on both ends of the floor. And, you know, in a lot of these plays that you make, um, sometimes you just got to be there to protect your teammates. And, you know, so once we had that in our minds that, you know, somebody gets beat, we have to be there. Somebody made a, made a mistake on a switch or a backdoor cut. We still got to be there, and I think we've been preaching that. And you know, the hustle plays come with with, with that, and um, you know, everybody's buying into it. So, you know, that's the toughest part of the game, to be honest, is to continue to consistently do that every single night. And that's what the great teams do. They dial that up every night, even when the offense not working. Um, you still be a connected group on the defensive side. So we're building something, and you know, we got to continue to keep uh, fine tuning. Kevin, you guys are at eight of nine now is there something you can point to in the last couple of weeks that really has clicked overall uh favorable schedule being at home for seven of those and uh, being able to uh wake up in our own beds and have our own routine at home definitely matters we also faced a couple teams that missed some guys as well but um for the most part um i like the brand of basketball we played on both ends of the floor regardless of who was on the court we still played our system and we played. We did the things that we wanted to do out there on both ends. Um, so yeah, I mean, being at home counts. Uh, having everybody back as well, healthy counts. Uh, so we just want to keep plugging away. Kevin, I mean, uh, you know, give up 45 points in the second half. I mean, you know, you really play defense. A month ago, almost exactly a month ago, in you know Sacramento, your defense looked like. Good. I mean, what what is it? Have they just been having easy games, and, or is it just is it more than that? No, I wouldn't say we had easy games. Uh, I, I don't mean that, but <laughs> yeah, I mean even with that Sacramento loss, we gave 150. But the four, five, six games before that, that game we were holding teams under 100 points. You know, so I, I, it's a, I know we want to be more consistent, but and we have been, but. Um, it's going to be times where we're up and down, what we want to do on the defensive side of the ball, trying to figure each other out. Uh, we're playing so, you know, sometimes we might switch our defense throughout the game. and so. Uh, but for the most part, guys are just playing hard, trying to stay in front of the ball. That's a simple part of the game, just you in front of your man trying to guard that one-on-one, -on -one, and then we rebound the ball better. If you're facing a Washington team that's been struggling of late, what was the emphasis on just never giving them any hope, getting off to a good start? And kind of taking it away from them from Joe. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this being a trap game. You got some guys injured. I mean, we played a trap game last uh, game against Indiana where they might have came in against us and, and relaxed a bit. And our, and our you know, uh, young guys came in and won that game. So we didn't want to make that same mistake and come out and underestimate these pros out here because they're, they're pros and they're all talented. So regardless of who's in the lineup, guys want to showcase who they are. So we had to make sure that, you know, we were focused on both ends of the floor and knowing that, um, you know, we could use our schemes to, you know, get an advantage. Um, but if we would have played too relaxed and, you know, with no sense of urgency, we would have definitely lost this game. For you guys to win in Indiana shorthanded, what does that say to you about this group and the job that Jock is doing? I mean, it's just everybody loves to play. Jock is doing a great job of making adjustments throughout the game. And that game was just incredible. They Indiana made a lot of shots, um, but we we weathered the storm and we stayed poised. And that's the type of team you know you want to be on, um, regardless of what's going on around you. Everybody stay in focus and stand you know to the mission. And I think you know we was able to the game was able to turn for us last game. So. 
That was key. You give guys confidence coming off the bench, guys that don't play as much, but they still got confidence. Uh, from playing games like that, it was it was huge for us. Kevin, what do you notice about this team with Bradley and without Bradley? I mean, he's a Hall of Fame, all-star scorer, player, sorry. Um, calling him just a scorer is diminishing who he is. I mean, you take that away from your team. I mean, you're, going, you're trying to figure out where that, where that presence is going to be, that impact is going to be felt from. So, and then you got Rui hurt, then you got Porzingis was out the second half. So they've been hit with some injuries. And um, it's felt like it's been like that for this team the last couple of years. Uh, but when they all on the court, they got some, some, you know, a, a lot of talent. And once they put it all together, I know they'll go off on a run. Um, the effort we play with on the defensive side of the ball, I think, um, you know, we find, we figure out what type of team we want to be on that side of the ball. Uh, and, you know, we continue to keep trusting each other on the offensive end that'll feed on our defense. We take efficient shots. I think we're efficient ball club on the offensive side of the ball too. So that helps our defense, but we try to hang our, our hat on, you know, keeping our man in front guard one-on-one -on -one and, and providing help when needed. So that's sustainable in any form of basketball. Yeah, just, you know, we switch, but sometimes um, throughout a game, you want to stay with your own man. Sometimes you don't have to switch your action, and we want to continue to keep those line up, those matchups the way we want to keep them. So in order for us to be a good team, we can't just lazy switch, point switch, and have a small and a big when we don't have to. And I think we're figuring that out as well. And, you know, we want to be a team that can switch out and guard multiple, uh, you know, players. Uh, we got versatile defenders, but we don't want to, put a smaller matchup on a bigger matchup or vice versa and, and cause a, you know, uh, we call a blender when guys driving and swinging and kicking and now we're in scramble mode. So we want to keep the ball in front and I think that's what we're working on now.